I made this video tutorial for myself because I don't do a lot of video editing and a year later I'll want to do some chroma keying and I'll end up spending an hour tweaking the settings to try and get the right effect. Chroma keying is a technique used for superimposing a video image onto another. Years ago they used to call it a trick because it was a video trick but now it's so commonly widely used it's a technique. They use it uh, for weathermen so that they can stand in front of maps. They use it in the movies, you know, when a rocket ship's going through space and they want to change the different background space images, that kind of thing. What you really need is you need to have a subject matter, like myself here, in front of a solid color. Now, I've chosen the green. The most common color is green and blue. They use, there's green screens you can purchase, blue screens you can purchase. You can really use any color. You could use purple, as long as you don't have purple on you. Green is the easiest one to remove. Um, I, I've got red on me, so obviously I wouldn't use a red screen. Uh, what I've done here is I'm using Sony Vegas, and in Vegas you need to put your subject matter or your what's going to become your foreground as one of the lowest track numbers. So for instance, I've got it as track two. Track four is my new background image that I'm going to be putting behind myself here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out uh, what I don't need and it's important when you do do your initial video to make sure that you don't have shadows because shadows are really difficult to take out I've got some here but I'm not going to be really uh, dealing with them that much I'm going to end up cropping them out and the only way I can get this to work is a couple of ways one is standing away from the screen if you stand close to the screen you're going to project a shadow right onto it Number two is lighting from overhead. For me, I just use the lights in my room. I've tried halogen lights. I've tried lighting the back of the screen. I've tried everything. Uh, you just got to just play around and use the technique that works for you. There's just so many different people out there with different suggestions, and this is just the one that works for me. So uh, I've taken a video of myself playing guitar, and yes, there's some shadows, and the color isn't consistent all the way around, but we've got some plugins that are going to fix that. First of all, um, you're going to grab your screen here and you're going to just uh, grab the handles and just crop out anything that isn't part of the green screen or part of the subject matter and uh, this way when you're done you're just going to have the green to remove now you can see when I did that my uh, my new background color which is as you can see in the background uh, started to show up what I need to do now is make all this transparent as well and uh, the best way to do that is to open up the track effects plugins and I've already added a color corrector and a chroma keyer to this. Uh, normally, um, what people would do is they would just throw the chroma keyer on. I, I kind of like to do the color correction, and I'll show you why. Uh, with a chroma keyer, you can choose the color that you want to take out. So let's say you know I want to take out this green color. Well, when I enable the chroma keying, I'm just going to mute this background here. You can see I got a fuzz around me, a little bit of green. Um, I've played with a lot of the settings, and uh, I just can't, can never get them perfect. You know, there's a halo. Sometimes, sometimes it's even worse. This is actually not too bad. Um, so what I do is I use the color corrector and I enhance the greens first. Basically, what I'll do is I will select the color corrector. There's a custom tab here that's going to show you. Uh, the greens that I've highlighted and cranked up and the parameters and when I enable that it takes my background and just cranks everything up to this like fluorescent green which is very easy to remove um, you'll see in here as well that I've enabled luminance uh, limitations saturation limitations and, and hue limitations if I don't do that basically everything's green so you've got to enable some of the stuff and then start tweaking it and you'll see as you tweak it you know you're gonna get the correct settings now I can play with this all to my heart's desire and screw things up and and never get it right and play for hours so what I've done is I actually just created a, I got it right once and created a preset called Andrews green screen no extra lighting so if I recall that at any time I can get back to where I need to be um, then I went over to the chroma keyer and now I'm going to take out this color which is a lot more prominent and easier to remove. Ta-da! And look, no haze, no halo, no green screen, nothing. Now you can blur the edges if you want and, and, and fade it in a little bit. As you can see I'm blurring the edges and that'll just take away a little bit of the pixel pixelation. Um, I've even done that. I've set up my own preset as well for that. 
So once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I can enable this background and you're going to see uh, there I am in front of the background and playing in uh, a bit of a, a jerky preview mode. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Color corrector, chroma keyer, and some proper green screen lighting. Hope this helps.